Founders are CEOs, especially in scale-ups, that do not invest in the role of a chief of staff for themselves, have a very high risk of being overworked and focusing on too many operational topics besides the one that are very strategically important. My name is Charlotte. I'm Director of Venture Development at Project A. Uh, I've been here for almost six years now and I am extremely excited about venture development uh, in our operational VC model. For me, being able to put all puzzle pieces together and keep an oversight, keeping a holistic understanding of a company is extremely exciting. Founders or CEOs should only do what only do they can do. So having somebody by your side that is an extension of who you are as a founder and CEO is incredibly value adding. The chief of staff role has never been more prominent than now. It is an extension of you and is essentially your right hand, a confidant, and somebody that you can just delegate tasks to knowing that they will get done in the quality that you expect. Normally, a chief of staff will focus on anything that's project management related. So those roles are very strong in setting up a project management office or overseeing a special project that are being worked on in the company. Usually, these people also take care of organizational matters, which means setting goals, setting OKRs, being the OKR owner and running goal setting sessions together with the management teams and their direct reports. I recommend hiring chief of staff just before your Series A fundraising. Fundraising for CEOs or founders is always extremely time consuming and takes a lot of focus in your day. You will not have sufficient time for your usual operational tasks. Outsourcing them early enough to somebody that you truly trust, who keeps the same level of quality that you expect, can make this entire process a lot more enjoyable and also more successful for you. As a founder or CEO, there are a couple of qualifications that I would look out for if I was to hire my chief of staff. Number one, very strong communication skills. Number two, very strong stakeholder management skills. Number three, a very structured, forward-thinking mind. Somebody that can take the chaos and structure structure it and think three steps ahead with you. Number four, a strong and holistic business understanding to be able to relate different areas together and keep the overarching big picture. Number five, radical candor and honesty. You want that person to tell you the hard truth when it's necessary and to be your devil's advocate when necessary. Thank you for having me. Ha <laughs> ha